Welcome back to the Booty Bands More Than Fitness podcast. Today, we have two special guests that have lost well over 100 pounds, and they're taking us through the topic of body dysmorphia, being able to now look at themselves differently as they still are imagining their old self, body dysmorphia. And so being able to have this conversation, realizing you're not alone, if you're going through your fitness journey, and to hear from these women that are already paving the way, this inspiring and super motivating story about how these women are now going into naked hour. What is Naked Hour? Let's get started with Coach Daisy and Margaret. Booty Bands and Barbells helps busy women sculpt and tone their bodies in just 15 minutes a day through our physical products and our one-on-one coaching. So um, as far as introducing ourselves and kind of getting to know, I think Margaret knew a little bit about Daisy, but I'm going to have, um, I'll have Daisy first start and just kind of tell us a little bit about her journey. And then Margaret, I want you to go second and kind of tell us a little bit more about your journey and what you wrote in the Facebook was really cool too, to add in there. So go ahead, Daisy. All right. So yeah, um, I have struggled with my weight my entire life, um, kind of grew up with the self-limiting belief that I was just always going to be big because my entire family was big and it was just genetics. Right. Um, and it wasn't until like in my twenties that I really started to combat that belief and just started my weight loss journey, ended up losing a hundred pounds just through nutrition and exercise, um, just completely changed my lifestyle. Um, but I experienced a yo-yo, right? So I would gain some more weight back, lose some weight, gain some weight, lose some weight. And it would always be within, you know, 50 pounds. So pretty extreme yo-yo. Um, and it wasn't until I joined booty bands and barbells and it will actually was just booty bands back then. Um, and, uh, met with Danita and she taught me the mindset portion that kind of needed to go along with it, right. To really reset that mindset and really break through those actual core beliefs that we hold about inside and and what we self-limiting beliefs, right. Um, that I was able to find consistency. And so I've been able to stay consistent for the past five years. Um, I've been a coach with booty bands and barbells for the last five years and um, just really uh, stepping into alignment and really loving helping guide transformations through our accountability program. So that's me. So anyway, um, I, if you saw the Facebook post, I literally just crossed under hundred pounds weight loss. Um, and it's been weird. Cause I mean, I started, what did I say? 2019. Um, and did the whole, you know, two hours of cardio, not eating anything, managed to lose a whole 30 pounds. I mean, 30 pounds is not, it's, it's good in a year. And then over the course of the next many years, several years, lost another 30 pounds. And um, I guess in February of this year, something in my brain clicked. I don't even know what it was. Um, Join the accountability program. And in the six months now, I've lost 30 pounds, <laughs> a little bit more. So, I mean, just the mindset changes alone have been huge. I mean, I think that's I, learning to lift weights and, and knowing what to eat is, of course, key. But knowing, you know, breaking, like you said, breaking through the limiting beliefs and, and working on your mindset definitely um, just made the whole thing come together. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And Margaret, your pant size, remember what, what did you initially have as far as pant size and where are you at right now with that? Um, the biggest I ever was, was 24 tight. I mean, I, I wore 24 back in 2019. I was wearing 24s, but they were tight. Um, when I started with this program, I was a 22, comfortable to loose. Now I am um, a 14 and I'm looking at 12. Not quite ready for 12, but I might be, but I don't know, but definitely looking at 12 in the foresee- in the near future. Yep. She's lost just in her waist alone, uh, 5.25 inches, just her waist, not counting like everywhere else on her body, but it's, uh, it was pretty remarkable just to see that amount of inches. And what we've been really tracking is not that it's weight. What do we see in Margaret that we're focusing more on what, what part of your weight that we're really focusing on the fact that my muscle amount muscle percentages have gone up and what even more impressive to me because of my age I'm you know gonna be 59 in two weeks um I've actually increased my bone mass by 0.4 percent which I mean that's the biggest thing for women as they age and get to a, a certain age 
that your bones become so fragile that literally a trip can can uh, you know you can break a bone just tripping up a, on the stairs or something yeah absolutely truly and then that itself can actually take women out to or men oh or yeah women, take them out where they're hospitalized and at that point they have a shorter lifespan just because of just a fall yeah, I mean, that I mean, breaks a hip yeah statistically if you break a hip you know, that's the beginning of a significant downward spiral. Yeah. For me, actually, this is a, this is a reveal. I don't normally tell people this, but I actually tripped into the weight loss journey or in the strength training world, because I have osteoporosis that runs in my family. And I was eating a bunch of those like calcium gummies. And I read mm -hmm. somewhere that was like, that's not going to get you anywhere. You need to lift weights. So I tripped in kind of lifting weights real and then realizing like, wow, I'm fitting into my clothes better. So I kind of accidentally fell into it a little bit there that didn't, I kind of went into more of it for the bone density part. So it's always a fun little surprise where you can get yours. Yours was the other way. Yours was I'm right. doing this for weight loss. And then you got bone density growth. As my the opposite. <laughs> I love it. Um, well, so I wanted to bring, go I ahead. Could, I was going to say, even this shirt that I have on today. When I first bought it years and years and years and years ago, I felt like 20 pounds of sausage meat in a five pound casing. And that doesn't give you a great visual. And now it's like, it's loose. It's comfortable. I mean, it just, so it's not just my waist. It's everywhere. It oh, definitely yeah. is. There. Um, I liked how you mentioned um, before you always kind of wore black for the. Oh, I always wore black, clothing. like constantly solid black. <laughs> And now you're into fun new colors, mm -hmm. new colors. It's cool. I, mean, I do wear, I do wear a significant amount of black, but I wear a lot of colors with the black. Instead of wearing black with black, now I'll wear a color with black. Yeah, it's cool. So I brought Coach Daisy in today because I thought this was such a great topic. And actually, this is a this is one we just filmed a podcast on recently with Rebecca. Rebecca has, I think, she went from a size. 16 and now she's a size eight and for her she is having what's called that body dysmorphia where she still views herself as that larger person and so there's a shift that has to kind of come into play and I really um I love how coach Daisy explains this process and she gives also a few little tricks and techniques to kind of break that that belief in mm -hmm. your head of like, is this really me? And so, um, Daisy, if you don't mind kind of just sharing your experience on body dysmorphia and how just looking at yourself differently. And also, um, the, uh, I have another one and I'll save that for later, but, um, go ahead and go into that piece. Yeah. So it's so wild. Like even to this day, you know, you can look into the mirror and just still see, well, for me, it was that 300 pound girl, right? I, and I, I see her every morning when I take a shower. <laughs> absolutely. So I definitely, definitely relate to that because, you know, as we go through our weight loss, we're just seeing, we're seeing the tiny changes every single day. So it's not going to be like, you know, if we hadn't seen a friend in six months and then all of a sudden we were 50 pounds lighter, right? That's going right. to be a shock. They're going to notice the difference. We're not going to notice the difference. And so what we're seeing is the changes happening over time. And so for us, it can be frustrating, you know, and especially that trick in our brain saying, well, it's not changing until we start to take those progress photos, right? Yes. So I bet um, Naked Hour would be probably your best tool. Um, naked hour is something that I actually started incorporating about a year ago. Um, and what it is, is you get out of the shower and you're getting ready for the day, but you stay completely naked and you put on your favorite hype music, whatever it is, whatever pumps you up, whatever empowers you, whatever music gets you dancing. That's the point of it. You have to feel good while you're getting ready in the mirror naked while you're still looking at those parts of yourself that you're so uncomfortable with. And as you dance and as you sing, and as you look at those affirmations that you have written on your mirror, you're going to start to rewire your brain. And it literally happens over time. So it does take consistency with it, but I'm going to tell you, I'm here to tell you a year later, uh, I am more in love with myself than I have ever been in my entire life. And I attribute that to my naked hour. 100. I may have to try that. 
Absolutely. Yeah, because I mean, as a story, another story, um, one of my coworkers and I were talking about clothes shopping. Nothing significant, and she's like, "Well, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm trying this out. This this brand of clothing, um, a little bit pricey, but they come short enough. She's height challenged, same as I am, um, but they come short enough that it it works." And I'm like, oh, I would love to try that brand, but they don't come big enough for me. And she just looks at me like, what drugs are you on? <laughs> like, oh, yeah, wait. <laughs> I am down into normal, you know, sizes. I'm not in the plus sizes anymore. Yeah, but you've had a big change and it's been recent. So and it's it only is. six months. So, I mean. That's that's so recent. And so, yeah, you do have to take that time, right, to rewire your brain and just to kind of reset and be like okay wait a minute just kidding I'm not that girl anymore now I'm right. this new girl. um funny story I actually just recently went to Nashville and so if you um have seen anything about my story in the booty bands group you'll know that I have a lot of loose skin on my stomach um but I embrace it now I love myself now and I dressed the skimpiest I have ever dressed in Nashville and we had just a ball and I'm telling you the sexier you can dress the more empowered you feel you feel good because you feel confident enough to wear that clothing so I would challenge you to go out there and just pick an outfit you'd be like absolutely not I would absolutely <laughs> not ever wear that and then try it on and okay. the funny thing is is I have I've dared myself to actually do that and I do have a couple of dresses that are a little bit short and a little bit revealing and I'm like I'll put it on and I'm like it'll fit it'll be fine I'm like yeah I'm not leaving the house in this and then I go change my clothes <laughs> Hey, but Again, at least you got them. At least you I got have, them. That's the first them. step. I do own them. I just have to get myself to a point where I can wear them out of the house. <laughs> Could be uh, one of those effort moments, right? Yeah. Coach Daisy, are you wearing your your cute little workout dress? No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So um, there's this really cute workout dress I'll have to send over to you, Margaret, that is just, it's the hottest thing. And, and uh, tell her, Daisy, tell her what your thoughts are on this dress. Oh my gosh, I love this dress. It's made up of like legging material and it's got a built-in sports bra and it's got in built-in shorts with pockets. And it's those are simil that's similar to, the, to what I was I was gonna wear. Yeah. Yes. I love this. And it's so comfy. So comfy. I'm just I have to wear a shirt because I just feel like I'm a little too chesty for this specific cut of the dress. Yeah. Naked hour will be really good. I could tell there could be a shift on naked hour for her. Um, and if you do naked hour and uh, you better tell us coaches so we can send you over some booty bucks for that, because that is, it is, that's a mindset shift within itself. And we have a lot of our members do a naked hour and it's really cool to start seeing their self-love starting to come in more, which is important. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's really cool. So uh, Daisy, tell us about the jeans for you. Remember when you said you um, had a pair of jeans that really helped you in this? Yeah. In the beginning of this year, um, I kind of just bought, I had this pair of jeans in my drawer and I went to try them on and I couldn't even get them up over my hips. And so I was just like, okay, well, this is going to be my before picture. Right. And so um, I took the picture of myself in these jeans, vulnerable AF, right? Just completely vulnerable. I have gained this weight back, but here I am, this is my before. And it took six months and I was able to button the jeans. Nice. Just one random morning, 3 a.m. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try them on and they fit. And so for me, like you said, I hadn't seen the changes. You know, I hadn't, I, I was watching them day over day over day, but people were telling me, wow, you, are you losing weight? And I'm like, oh, am I? I don't know. I? I'm, <laughs> right. I don't get on the scale. I have no idea. I knew my clothes were fitting better. So uh, anyways, moral of the story, a tangible physical piece of item that you can measure yourself with something like a pair of gold jeans was so satisfying the day that I was able to pull them up and button them and they zipped easy, whew, ego boost. Yes. 
ego boost. So I love that you were using that too. Um, just noticing that you were getting into smaller sizes and that shirts were fitting looser. The shirts are fitting better, yeah. That's another way to help with it by those tangible items, which I, I think is great that you're, you, I think you went from a three X Margaret to now you're to a one X. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. On the bottom, the tops haven't changed. Well, the tops have changed slightly. I went from like a three X men's and this is like a three X women. So it is significantly, and it's, this is loose, but I mean, the, the changes have been pretty dramatic. Yeah. And the beautiful part is being able to have sustainable. A lot of people go in weight loss and they're losing that water, fat, and muscle. They don't really know where it's coming from, right? If they're just starving themselves, they can ultimately be losing those three things. But what's great to track it is to see that you're losing just the fat mm -hmm. so that your muscle is your metabolism. It stays consistent and strong the entire time so that it becomes a maintenance mode experience rather than having to gain like that fear of gaining it back doesn't have to be there anymore as we're knowing what works and what doesn't. Yeah, I, I am getting to, unfortunately, and it's something I have to work on, almost psychotically obsessed with getting my protein content, my protein amount in. I need to not be psychotically obsessed. I mean, to get the protein in, that's a given, but I need to not be psychotically obsessed about getting protein in. Yeah, finding your balance, right? That, that will be the next thing is instead of being that perfectionist with it, Finding those areas of progress that will allow you to feel like you can still live your life, enjoy your life, find that balance, that alignment with yourself so you don't feel like it has to be this extreme situation for sure. Right. Cool. Love it. Uh, Rebecca that we just had on here talking about body dysmorphia as well. She actually used just that, the gene photo that you were talking about, Daisy. And um, so this is Rebecca. She... Um, she started, I think she was at a 16 and now she just put on a size six jeans. Oh, wow. And, that's amazing. Uh, she did what Daisy said and she said, I'm going to try it out. And, and it was a very beautiful feeling for her to same thing. Like they're fitting her just great and they're zipped it up great. And we just got off a podcast with her just about probably a month ago. That's going to be actually airing this Sunday. Um, so that will be really cool, Margaret, to whatever that is, whether that's jeans or a dress or whatever that is, as far as, well, that. I do you know, the first time I put on a size pair of size 14 jeans, I was like in tears. I was like crying. I was so, I had to call a friend of mine just to tell her that, oh my God, I had the size 14 jeans. Cause it was just so amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a lot mm -hmm. of self-care and a lot of mindset shifts that have to go into those size jeans again mm -hmm. and I honestly cannot remember that this is truth state true statement I cannot remember when I wore a size 14 before I almost want to say college wow and for me that was half a life ago <laughs> or more <laughs> wow that's awesome so um as she's going through this journey is there anything that comes up for you Daisy or um, that to tell Margaret or Margaret, do you have any questions for Daisy that as, um, you know, somebody that's been through it? I just need to like the, I'm going to try the, the naked hour because the, the, I can, I can tell you the body dysmorphia is strong. <laughs> and just looking in the mirror every morning is something I desperately try to avoid doing. No. Oh, lean in. Lean in, baby. That's all I can. That's my best advice. Lean into it. And I tell you what, I'll go one better and I'll I'll get with Danita and we can make a hype playlist for you. If you have Spotify, mm -hmm. um, we'll just make a playlist that we can share our favorite hype music. I know she's got some great ones. I've got some great ones that'll just really help um, boost that ego, right? Boost that self-love because that is the greatest transformation. It and really it'll be easy because I'm, I'm, I'm definitely a 90s hair metal girl. So those are all about boosting your ego. <laughs> 90s hair metal, gotcha. <laughs> Send over a few of your favorites, Margaret. We'll put it in a playlist too so that we can blend all of our, all of our ideas together. That'll be great. Cool. Yeah. Body dysmorphia, man. Isn't it a thing? Um, but it's, it's interesting. I'm glad we're having these conversations. Um, just 
raw and organic as they are to work through those and to say you're not alone. There's multiple of the women that are going through it. And as they listen to this, they're going to go, wow, somebody, somebody hears me. Somebody sees Mm -hmm. me. Somebody knows what I'm going through. So um, if somebody was listening right now, Margaret, to this podcast right now, and they're just going through that journey alone and they're feeling broken, maybe just kind of where you were at in that maybe stuck area of your life, mm-hmm. what is something that you would tell them as far as solutions or things that have helped helped you? Um, just finding somebody to talk to who understands, who's been through it or even if they haven't been through who just understands because being able to express, and you know that I had a hard time in the beginning, even expressing my vulnerability vulnerabilities. But um, once I was able to break through that, and that's something only you can do for yourself. But once I was able to break through that and express my vulnerabilities, just the mindset change alone, be willing to accept being willing to accept the help that is being freely offered Um, that's the biggest thing, whether you do accountability program or not, just find somebody you can talk to who understands. And even if they don't understand, they'll at least listen because you can help yourself. If you have somebody you can listen, who can listen to you. Yeah. Yep. I think even just you being on this podcast is, uh, breaking through a lot of those fears as well. Just posting on Facebook yesterday is breaking through a lot of fears. I mean, it's only the second time ever that I've ever posted on Facebook. I've heard, I've heard a lot of women that haven't even gotten to that point yet. I mean, it took a long time. I mean, it really did. And I actually, I wrote it out on paper first to make sure it, what I wrote made sense. Uh, and then I typed it in. Yeah. Big steps. Look at you go towards that. And now that you've done it, I want to hear about that as you, as you did it and you completed it, how does it feel to actually go towards it? Like Daisy said earlier, lean in. How does it feel to lean in? It was scary. I mean, I'll admit it that opening yourself up and, you know, admitting to the whole world that I weighed 300 pounds. I mean, it was obvious that I did, but having it come out of my mouth virtually, it was just, it was a lot. It was scary. But I told myself a long, 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 long time ago that if I ever managed to lose 100 pounds, I would shout from the rooftops. So I did. <laughs> wait, you did? You went, wait, the, the, was the Facebook group your rooftop then? That was Facebook group was my ro- Facebook group was my rooftop. Yep. Okay. So this podcast is going to be your rooftop right now. So take this yep. moment and I want you to also shout it from the rooftops. That long, long, long time ago, that promise you made to yourself, I want you to take this moment right now and do the same thing. It's taken me a long time. So I started, I topped this in February of 2019. That's the earliest data point I have. So I topped the scales at 299. And over the course of the next four years, I managed to lose 60 pounds. And over the course of the last six months, I well, it must have been closer to 70 pounds, excuse me. And over the course of the last six months, I've managed to lose just over 30. So I have now lost officially 101 pounds. <laughs> so yay me. I mean, I still have a ways to go. I am aware of that to get to where I want to be. But it, it's, it's in the, it's in the, it's in the, it's, I can see it on the horizon. It's not, you know, a long, it's not a pipe dream anymore. It's definitely there. Margaret. Hey. Take a deep breath. Oh. Have you ever tried recently to pick up a hundred pounds? No, the not I haven't. <laughs> I could. I have the weights, but I haven't done it. That's such an accomplishment. That's such a that's a huge, huge accomplishment because when you go to pick up a hundred pounds, you realize how much weight that actually is. So really congratulate and, yourself and you. celebrate yourself. Because holy shit, girl. I mean, you know it too. I mean, you know. It's a huge accomplishment. That's beautiful. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. Well, I'm excited to hear about your naked hour. So uh, that will be fun. (laughs) 
<laughs> I have to uh, gear myself up for that. <laughs> so send over today or whenever you can go us and send us uh, some of your favorite songs okay. so we can put them in a playlist and we're going to, we're going to create a playlist. This will be great. Sounds good. Awesome. Well, it was lovely um, allowing this uh, time and for anybody that's listening, just um, embracing that, that light at the end of the tunnel, it can get bigger and bigger and bigger. And like Daisy said, lean in, lean in, and uh, you don't have to do it alone. Um, if you're feeling broken, I've felt that before, feeling like it's age, genetics, something like that. Let your let yourself know right now that you're not broken. All right. Well, lots of love, you guys. Have an amazing rest of your day. If you want to see more of these badass women that are just kicking their goals and leaning into them, check them out in the Booty Bands and Barbells Facebook group. They're on fire. Margaret, for the first time, just posted in there. So we get to hear more about her story. Hopefully she'll share more with us. Um, but very excited to see not only this journey, but as it continues to keep blossoming, like you said. Sounds good. Love it. All right. Well, you guys have a good rest of your day. Thanks for you jumping too. on. All right. Bye y'all. Bye. So I have really never stuck with anything for more than six months until I found Booty Bands Barbells. It's life-changing. The progress over perfection mindset has been so life-changing. Have self-love and to have self-worth. I just do the 10 minutes and I'm already reaping the benefits. The workouts are fun and that they're effective. I have seen great results that I never thought I'd ever see. I love it because I'm keeping the weight off. We help hold each other accountable as they commit to our goals. Booty Bands and Barbells has really changed my life for the better. I have to be real with you. The past Last six months really took a toll on me and my body. I felt incredibly stressed, isolated. After being a good 12 to 13 pounds heavier, I said that's it, I'm gonna make healthy choices. And I'm happy to tell you today that I am actually down 15 pounds. I feel amazing. I feel like I lost fat and put on muscle. I have a lot more energy. So it's never too late to start. You can take control again. Thanks, Booty Band Nation. Positive that you will get more sculpted, more toned, and you're gonna love those new healthy changes and our community and our coaches. From where you're at, no matter where you are, or how long you've been in the position. So just click the button below to book the call with our team.